Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I pulled out a palette that I'm like, you know what? I think I swatched this a long time ago, but I don't think I've ever done a look with it. So this is the Natasha Denona Mini, and you can tell like I accidentally got my finger into one, <laughs> like I jabbed it, but I've definitely swatched it and um I'm ready to do a look with this and so this is a pretty simple basic like I mean it's the colors that I like and it's a Natasha Denona so I know that it's going to be beautiful I'm gonna probably go in with the navy I've already primed my eyes and I know that I come on here and I apologize just about every time that I've done my makeup before I came on and I remove it you know I just leave my lashes on and and I always apologize for like staining. I have staining underneath and I always apologize for glitter all over my face. But why am I apologizing? You guys know me by now. I love color and I love glitter. So <laughs> I don't even know why I have to explain myself. Unless you're new, then you might need an explanation. But most people here know me and know that I'm going to be playing in glitter and color. So anyways... I am going to, um, I think I'm going to try to put this lighter blue here as like the transition. And I keep getting my eyeliner up in my crease because I need to set, it's just emollient from the primer up there. And so as soon as I get the eyeshadow in there, it should be good. But sometimes my, yeah, these are very pigmented. Um, this is the mini, so if this is any indication on what the big palette actually is like, I may like it. Um, I, I just, I haven't had um, a great, I mean, their, her shadows are wonderful. It's just not my, it's usually just not what, calls to me and so I'd rather spend my money elsewhere and so because literally I've had two Natasha Denona palettes and I have given them both away but they were more on the neutral side so that explains it for me um, I know that she does have some colorful palettes and I would probably like those um, I just haven't had one myself. And so this is the first real colorful. I mean, I have the minis and I like both the minis that I have. I absolutely love them. But I know the Tropical palette has these colors in it and it is a very pretty palette. So I'm interested. Maybe I would like that big one. That is pretty. So, yeah, I thought I would start out with this blue. Kind of went a little wild on this side. Kind of a little bit more on that side than I wanted to take it. But it's okay. We'll work it out. I just have to make a little bit um, more darker of a look than what I was going for. This eye over here, I don't know if... My eyes are just a little bit swollen or pushed out or whatever, but it's having problems today. All day, not just now, all day. Okay, I'm going to go in with my finger to this blue. It is a different formula than what I'm used to feeling, like it almost feels wet. And so I'm not, I don't know. see here yeah that's what I'm looking for I guess I could try it with the brush but I just know these that shimmer and more the wet feeling of the shadow really needs to be with your finger typically but I don't know sometimes you can get surprised so I'm gonna Try to pick up some with my brush. Oh no, nope, 
It does good with a brush. Okay. Prove me wrong, Natasha Denona. Prove me wrong. Okay. I like that. I like to be able to use a brush if I can. If it'll deposit the full pigment, then bring on the brush. I use my fingers just because I want the full pigment. But this is doing it. Ooh. This is exciting, guys. I may have to eventually one day, whenever it's like on Clarence, <laughs> get the bigger one if I like this one so much. I'm just going to lay the pigment down where I want it, and then I'm going to go in and buff it out. Buff it, buff it. I'm impressed, you guys. I almost think I like this one even. I love my other mini that I have, the Lila. I think I like this one even better. But I love this one, too. And it, it kind of has that special shade, too, but I've never tried it with a brush. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm going to go in with this green. We're going to put that green. Oh, oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Okay. I'm really loving this look. I have had Natasha Denona before, and I have never been impressed. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm really impressed. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this lighter green. There is names on here, but oh, it's so pretty. I'm mad at myself for not playing with this sooner. That is gorgeous. Yes. This is definitely a palette. Mainly if you like blues or greens, this is worth every penny. So I'm going to take that emerald green underneath. I That emerald green is gorgeous. All of these shades are so pretty. The only one I didn't dip, dip into is the lavender just because I don't really see where I want to put that in this look. But I'm super excited for this. I'm going to wet the brush. And I mean, I guess I, would, I need to try it first by itself. I really don't need to wet the brush. That is so freaking pretty. I've talked about having merch for so long and I just never have done it. But it'd be hilarious since I say so pretty all the time to have a parrot with me going so pretty, so pretty. But makeup, makeup in general makes me happy, but good makeup really makes me happy. And this is good. This is good. So pretty. And I'm going to do green in the waterline. I'm going to do teaspoon because I love this shade of green from ColourPop. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to do this eye a little bit more. And now I'm going to pop off here. I'm going to do the rest of my face and a lip and I'll be right back with you. So okay, guys, this is my final look. I love this look. Okay, so... I wanted to use my navy um, lipstick that I just got in. It's Kat Von D in Poe. Got this for like $4 on Sephora like a couple months ago. It was super, super clearanced and it has a little bit of like diamond flex in it, but it does it doesn't really show up that much, but there's diamond flex in it. And then what I did is I took a little bit of that shimmery green and put it right in the center. And I really love that. It just really adds to this look. Really kind of makes it more of a vampy, van I think it reminds me of like a vampy mermaid style. <laughs> and then in my inner corner, love. Okay, so the inner corner is the Urban Decay um, Heavy Metals in Party Monster. Just love that. Okay, and then you know what's on my eyes already. And so what I added off camera is I'm really digging my Terra Moon um, 
shadows here lately and in the highbrow there and then I use it as highlighter is the um, the this is the eyeshadow um, Charon 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 or Charon um, Terra Moon Cosmetics and this is a really pretty like almost has a gold fleck to it greenish goldish blue like it it shifts in color so pretty so I am using that at the top there and as my highlighter I put a little bit on my nose also and so anyways this is my total oh and Alamar um, yeah Alamar for my blush so I am digging this look you let me know if you like it if it if you have this palette have you used it yet what do you think about it? I am pretty excited about this palette. So let's um, talk down in the comment section and let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you guys all have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.